let's take a look over the pond at London. Here's a live look. Buckingham Palace getting ready for the coronation of King Charles III tomorrow. The king will be crowned in a lavish Saturday ceremony with a tradition dating back about a thousand years. King Charles will be crowned alongside Queen Consort Camilla and Westminster Abbey. Ian Lee reports from London. Royal rehearsals have been running around the clock for the dawn of a new era in Britain when King Charles is crowned on Saturday. Practice makes perfect for the more than 6,000 troops taking part in the royal procession. Shoot, mommy. Shoot, mommy. The coronation is expected to draw hundreds of thousands of well-wishers to London. God save the king. <laughs> Many have been camping out. If you could say anything to the king, what would you like to say? I would like to say thank you for what you've done up to now and good luck. King Charles will be the 40th monarch crowned at Westminster Abbey, a tradition dating back to William the Conqueror in 1066. I admire that they've kept their history and everybody still respects it. The 74-year-old will be crowned alongside his wife Camilla, the queen consort, in front of roughly 2,000 guests a much smaller ceremony than his mother's coronation in 1953. Students from the King's former elementary school are already celebrating. King Charles was the first monarch to be educated outside the palace. It's just so fun to think the King went to our school, like he's worn our uniform. On coronation day, he'll be wearing a new uniform and crown along with the weight of a nation and future of the monarchy. Ian Lee, CBS News, London. The festivities begin at 5 o'clock tomorrow morning, our time, and you can watch it all live right here on News 6.